Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing another trailer reaction for James Bond 007, Daniel Craig, No Time to Die. It was supposed to come out back in, I believe, April. I remember Daniel Craig being on SNL. He was playing James Bond in the skits. And uh, for those of you that, that don't know, when they market a movie, the budget for the marketing typically will match. So they probably spent over $100 million to make this marketing campaign that essentially just got flushed right down the drain when the pandemic happened. Which just means that when they do release it, Daniel Craig and the whole crew are going to have to ramp it all up again. It looks like they're starting now, though. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Jab on. Jab. I call bullshit on that rock. A rock would not save your life. The past isn't dead. James, fate draws us back together. Now your enemy is my enemy. His name is Seven. Oh! Revenge? Me. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. You can imagine why I've come back to play. There's a young lady in Santiago I want you to meet. You're late. When you're ready. Salute. When I met you on New Double O, she's a disarming young woman. I get why you shot him. Yeah, well, everyone tries at least once. James Bond. We both eradicate people to make the world a better place. I just want to be a little tidier. Nope. Oh! Harder to tell the good from bad, villains from heroes these days. Mr. Gordon. What is that? Jeffrey Wright. I don't know what this is? He's going to kill millions. If we don't do this, there will be nothing left to save. Get okay, that. <laughs> oh! Did he just shoot at a car that was already flipped? I like that. That's great. <laughs> just to be sure, you don't want to make a mistake and have the guy get out and try to kill you. Daniel Craig, man, he's back. The irony is that's called No Time to Die in a pandemic where he has plenty of time to die. It looks pretty cool. It, a lot of those scenes, like the scene of like him in the eyes wide shut type of thing with all the people in the masks and him in the middle, that was already seen in the earlier trailers. You got a little bit more of a Rami Malek. His face looks pretty messed up. I don't even know what would cause that. His face looks like a, like a pane of glass that was smashed. I don't think Rami Rami Malek has the big range that people think he does. I think he works very well as that Mr. Robot character, which I loved. I highly recommend that show. But even Bohemian Rhapsody, if you watch it, he's kind of Mr. Robot as Freddie Mercury. So in this role, it's a Bond villain. So he can do a decent job. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to have a lot of chops to be a Bond villain. But I don't think he's going to be one of those great Bond villains that people remember. This just feels like that awkward same thing that he's been doing for the past six years. And uh, I don't know. I want to be hopeful. I mean, if they follow the trend of every other movie being good, and if this is going to be the final one, then maybe, but um, I don't know. It's just not giving me enough to go off of. Looks like he's dropping a, a, a bomb down like an elevator shaft. Very John McClane, you know? What does it say? Forgive me. Alright, so again, like Bond Bond will never have the lady that he wants to have, and especially in these like Daniel Craig movies. It kind of makes you miss like the James Bond, Pierce Brosnan version, right? Like, this one's always down and out. And I understand that he is the James 
Bond that came out in 2001. We wanted a James Bond that was gritty and raw and angry and cynical, but, you know, here we are, you know, all these years later, and you kind of want Bond to lighten up a little bit. You want him to progress as a character from the beginning. I think Skyfall tries to delve into his backstory a little bit, but Spectre felt like a step back. And yeah, here's that eyes wide shut scene. Kind of makes me think of that, the way that he's in the middle and everybody's looking at him, you know, because usually Bond likes to kind of sneak into like a party, but clearly this is a trap for Bond. You got Anna de Materas. She was the maid in Knives Out. She's also in Blade Runner 2049. She's good. I think she'll be, I think she'll be pretty decent in this. Just grabbing that Uzi. I love that kick. Ooh, she just... Boom! Just goes for that. And she's doing it in heels, everybody. And maybe this could be like the new send-off for Bond, you know? Because we have this other character who looks like she's going to be the new 007. Not the new James Bond, but the new 007. She's kind of looking at him, just sizing him up like, what are you doing here? It would not shock me if Bond sailed off into the sunset with the love interest. That would be a better fitting ending if you want to continue the Bond legacy in the same universe. And I'm fine with that. Bond evading a hand grenade that was dropped right in front of him. And that guy in the mask, I don't know if that is Rami Malek or not, right? I mean, it kind of does because his face is all messed up. I don't know what to say with this trailer because it's very much cut scenes of different things. Like, there's no context to anything. Just lots of shoot 'em up. You know, Bond villain being a Bond villain. He kind of reminds me of Dr. No a little bit. Kind of look like he's underground a little bit. As a lot of you guys know, Dr. No, he had like fake hands. You know, at least very damaged. That he had to wear like gloves. And it wouldn't surprise me if this character was not necessarily the same character, but took some inspiration from. I love where the jeeps just jump. Just like the motorcycle. I've never seen an SUV actually do that without flipping over. And this, this is very Mission Impossible. I love how they drop him out of the back of the plane and then he just goes right. Right in, look at that. And then yeah, look at the girl, she's just like kicking away, man. Kicking away in the heels. Ooh, clotheslined. That's cool. Like a submarine just goes right under. Missiles, explosions, jumping. Rami Malek with a gun. And then the ending is like, a car flips upside down and Bond's like, that's not enough, I shoot it, ha ha ha! And then credits. No time to die. Yeah, I mean, look, I'll see it because it's like, I like James Bond movies. Do I think it's gonna be the best one? Hells no. I very much am partial to Casino Royale and then I guess Skyfall, I think it's pretty damn decent. But Casino Royale has always been my favorite Daniel Craig movie. Spectre, I thought, was the weakest. Oh no, that's not true. Quantum of Solace was pretty bad too. But yeah, based on this, there's a higher chance of it not being good versus actually being good. But time will only tell. You really have no way of knowing. They could just be holding back. They could be saying, you know what? We're not going to give it all away. But considering the circumstances that were in 2020, I got the feeling that the second trailer showed what they wanted to show. This final trailer, which is the last ditch to try to get some people to interested in the movie again, is them showing everything. I imagine they're probably like, listen, we can't be coy. We got to put it all out there because, you know, people are starting to lose interest and all that. They're talking about Batman. They're not talking about, you know, uh, uh, another no time to die. See, I can't even remember the name of the movie. So maybe, maybe it's good, he said optimistically. Will it be? I don't know. It's really kind of hard to say. I guess time will tell. But be sure to comment down below, guys. What did you think of the final trailer for No Time to Die? Do you think James Bond will die? You can enter to win a digital copy that we do every Tuesday here on the show. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below. On this video, good question for a comment. Do you think James Bond will die? I I think he might. I think he just might. But comment down below to win the digital copy that will be given away this Tuesday. In fact, I have it right here. The 4K edition of Beetlejuice. And again, all you have to do to enter is comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and be a subscriber. Yeah, I, I wish I could say more. I feel bad that I don't have more to say about a movie that was supposed to come out back in May. You know, I think they've shown us all the goodies, and there's really no more to show after that. But, you know, it still looks good. You know, some of these movies kind of feel like they already came out, like A Quiet Place Part 2 in my brain. It's like, oh yeah, remember A Quiet Place 2? Didn't that come out like six months ago and we just missed it? No, it just never came out because pandemic. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for us. Be sure to check out some other videos. We have a video that just blew up with 25,000 views. The Batman side-by-side -side with the movie 7. It's been published in Screen Rant, MovieWeb, ComicBook.com. It's blowing up. I'm elated to see how much it's been taken and ran with. And it's got 25,000 hits. People are kind of digging it. And yeah, it just is like a side-by-side -side comparison with the new Batman trailer and the movie 7. And yeah, I am just super pumped that it blew up like that. It's... I. You know what it tells me? 
Tells me I gotta do more videos like that. Am I right? Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for us. Win that digital copy on Tuesday. All you gotta do, like I said, subscribe, like, comment, and it could be yours. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.